To begin adding items to your Zotero library, let's start by creating a folder or collection for our items to go into. Let's say I'm starting a research project related to zebrafish. Using the new collection icon, I will create a collection for the items I find in my zebrafish research. Just a note, I am organizing my collection based on the topic of my search, but you can organize your collections any number of different ways, by the name of a class you are taking, by the name of a particular project you are working on, and so on. Once I have created a collection for my searches, I will now begin my searching. For example, I may start searching in Google Scholar. Once I enter my search in, Zo in Google Scholar, I can see that Google Scholar is talking to Zotero because of this folder icon on the address bar. Clicking on this folder icon will give me a list of all of the article titles on this first Google Scholar page. I can then choose all of the articles I'm interested in adding to my zebrafish collection in Zotero. I know that my articles are being saved because of this small red box in the lower right hand corner of my screen. And I can see that the articles I have selected loaded into my zebrafish collection. The folder icon indicated that there were multiple items to view on a page. Let me show you one more search to illustrate what it looks like when there is just one item on a page. Now I will do a search in PubMed. This time, I click on a particular article title to read the abstract of the paper to make sure that I want to add it to my zebrafish collection. Now I know that I would like to add this article to my zebrafish collection. I can tell that Zotero is talking to PubMed because of the article icon on the address bar. Just a reminder, Zotero works with library catalogs, newspaper websites, image repositories, and many more databases and websites. As a result, the icon will change based on the type of thing you are viewing, and the icon may look like a book, a video, or a newspaper. So again, I click on the icon, and the item is added to my zebrafish collection. To summarize, you can create a collection in Zotero, and then search for items in many library databases, catalogs, and websites like Google Scholar and Amazon, and add these items to your Zotero library by clicking on the icon in the address bar. To learn how to add items to your Zotero library manually or from other websites, watch those screencasts later in this unit.